Wherever he goes, he proclaims the message of the Internet. Philip Riedler is a self-appointed expert. A kind of interpreter for those who are still bewildered by the digital world. The 19-year-old navigates his way through strange cities and finds hotels online more often than he visits his parents' home. I wrote a book called Who We Are and What We Want, with the subtitle A Digital Native Explains His Generation, because I saw that lots of people don't understand this young generation that grew up with smartphones. They think we no longer go out to meet friends but are absorbed in a virtual world. My aim is to show that there is little truth in this prejudice and that the opposite is more the case. Of course, digital natives aren't alone and isolated. According to an American study that Philipp Riedler is fond of citing, people who use Facebook and Twitter feel less lonely than those who don't. For Philipp Riedler, the virtual world is an expansion of the real world. Fittingly, the internet has made him renowned. In 2008, at the age of 13, he released a podcast showing how to install third-party apps on the first iPhone. A constant stream of video clips has followed. I had absolutely no experience making videos when I made my first podcast. I had just the idea of explaining to people how something works. I didn't think about how to explain it. I just set the camera rolling and started speaking. That seems to have sufficed. His videos drew 150,000 clicks each. Now Philipp Riedler jets from one well-paid lecture to another. Today Berlin, tomorrow Vienna. At 15, he accepted his first invitation to advise the managers of Deutsche Telekom, Germany's semi-private telecommunications company. His topic, how digital networking radically changes how we work. The technological framework conditions have changed today. If I know that I can think and work most creatively and effectively between 11 at night and 4 in the morning, why should I lock myself up in a stuffy concrete bunker from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. in the afternoon? His generation's nightmare scenario is a meaningless job. He goes through the sound check for his presentation at the Ricoh Printer Manufacturing Company in Austria. His task here is to prepare the staff for big changes. Because in a digital world, who needs photocopiers and fax machines, who still prints out text? What about tomorrow's customers? How do they want to live and work? For Rico employees, their jobs are at stake. The company wants them to be more mobile, rather than concentrated on company premises. Costs are driving this shift. The business manager thinks the change will save the company more than 1 million euros. We need Philipp Riedle because he opens our staff's hearts and ears to this transformation process. And he can show them that work in the digital era can be fun. And that the fear of losing our physical workplace is more than offset by the freedom offered by mobile, flexible work. Philippe Riedler provides an example of that every day, and he tries to ease the way for skeptical listeners to follow him. Open your minds to these young people and these new ideas, and I'd like to leave you with one message. Don't be afraid. Thank you very much.